Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. Welcome to my mini mandala series. In these videos, I show you how to create beautiful mandalas using a few very simple tools. So I have a penny, a coin, any round coin will work. I have my micron pen, a graphite pencil for some drawing and sometimes some shading, and a little blending tool called a tortillon. Today I have added, usually I don't add anything, but I do have this Sakura Metallic Silver Jelly Roll pen. Um, the mandala we're gonna make today is actually a snowflake. And I just wanted to show like that you can add a, sil a silver pen or maybe line the whole thing with some glue and add some glitter to make it sparkle, but just kind of a fun little extra. Okay. So we're going to make a snowflake, which is not our typical mandala, but I live in Michigan. It is winter. The snow has been falling off and on for a couple of weeks, and um, I'm just kind of in a snowy mood. So we're going to begin with our pencil, and we're just going to put our coin somewhere on our paper. I'm using a 5 inch by 5 inch little sketchbook. Okay, let's put that on the paper, and then we trace it in pencil and typically with almost every mandala I have made we divide it in half and we divide it in half this way and then we put in an X and we've got eight spaces to work in however I have learned that um, snowflakes are only six sided so I don't even think there is such thing as an eight-sided snowflake. Maybe I'm wrong, but they are six-sided. And for me, dividing something into six is a little bit trickier. So I'm going to do that to start out with by drawing a vertical line just up and down the center, extending that out. And now I need to put in an X, and I'm not going to put in a horizontal line. So what I'm gonna do is focus on this half of the circle over here, see if I can zoom in a little bit. And I want to divide this into thirds, okay? So I'm going to come up and maybe go about here and about here. But then when I look, the center one is much longer, so I'm actually gonna move that to about there and there, I think. And I'm not gonna go through the center this time. I'm just gonna come right out here. So this area looks to be a little bit smaller than that area. So I'm gonna move this a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we've got our pencil. We've got time to make sure these are fairly even lines. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're just looking to divide it into thirds. That looks pretty even to me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I was also reading that, you know, we've all heard that no two snowflakes are alike. And that's because once the little hexagon is formed, it drops down to the ground and it goes through different temperatures of air, different clouds, different wind, and, um, and it starts to crystallize. And that's why no two could ever be exactly alike because they're all falling at different rates through different types of weather. So it's kind of cool. And they all start as a basic hexagon shape and then the crystals build from there. So that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna erase the center of this like that. All right, I'm also gonna grab a piece of scrap paper. I just like to rip a piece of paper off of whatever I have laying around. And we're gonna use this like a ruler, okay? So our snowflake, we still want it to be a basic circle shape. So what I'm going to do is put my paper right at the top of that circle. And I'm going to go up two full finger lengths and make a little line on the scrap paper and then also 
onto the paper I'm working on. So it's just about two finger lengths. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm adding these little lines all the way around so that our snowflake can stay fairly even. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my pen now. If you are not quite ready to pick up your pen, you wanna still work in pencil, you can, of course. Okay, I'm going to trace my circle. If you would like to trace your coin again, you can, but I don't mind if mine's a little bit wiggly. And then I'm going to trace from that little line up there straight down. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, at the end of each of these lines, I'm going to put in a diamond shape, but I'm going to do a small wide bottom and then a taller top. And I'm going to put a tiny circle on top of that. So a small wide bottom taller top, and a little circle. I like the detail of the top of that being just a little bit taller. That already looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? I put the little circles on the ends. Okay, now underneath, we're kind of working backwards today. We're working from the outside and towards the middle, but we're going to put a little V underneath that diamond. Then I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm gonna put another V, but this one's gonna be a little bit longer on the ends. And I'm gonna do a third one that's even longer. I'm gonna put a little circle on the end of each of those. And I'm gonna turn my paper and do the next one. So a little V, wider and wider. Little circles on the ends. A little V wider and wider. A 
actually be fun to do a whole series just on snowflakes because there are literally endless ways that you can make a snowflake. Got one more section to do. Okay, for this next part, I'm going to take my little scrap paper again, and I'm going to put that right at the top of that circle, and I'm going to make probably about one finger length or one finger width. I'm going to make a little line there. So hopefully that is underneath the little V shapes you just made. If not, you can adjust where you want this little line to land. And then I'm just going to take my pencil and very, very lightly connect those like a hexagon. And this is where you're going to notice that some sections are larger than others, and it's okay. We're not even going to ink in these lines right now, so don't worry about it. Okay. So we're going to take each of those sections, and I'm going to make a triangle going from the bottom of this line up into the bottom of this line. And all this little line up here is doing is telling me where to stop. So I'm just going to put a dot in the center of that pencil line and I'm going to go up and down. So put a dot in the center of that pencil line. It's okay if some sections are bigger and we're just going to make a triangle. Put in your dot as your center, up, down. down this is really pretty I love this Okay, at the top of each of those, we're going to put in another little circle and make these ones slightly larger than the other ones. And then I'm going to add a tiny circle on top of that one, just because I think every detail in a snowflake just adds interest. So inside each of those triangles, we're going to make a very narrow aura right along the inside. So we're just drawing these lines inside of it. So pretty. OK, 
Okay, now we're gonna go back to these little V's that we made. And um, we're gonna take a few minutes to add a dark circle. So one on each side of the small V, two on each side of the middle, and three on the large V. So one, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. This is what I love about mandalas, it's just these repetitive things that we can do that are so relaxing. If you notice you're gripping your pen too hard, go ahead and loosen your grip. And then inside each of these little diamonds at the top, we're going to extend that line up and add a tiny dot. Up and a dot. And now we're going to go along these edges of these triangles and we're going to put tiny orbs or circles up the sides and down the other side. This takes a little bit of time, but just enjoy the quiet. Enjoy that calm feeling of just having to repeat your lines and not have to think too hard about what's coming next. I feel like the snowflake would have been fine without these little circles, but it adds some texture. And I like that. It would be so fun to just sit and doodle on a piece of paper and make the beginning snowflake shape with that X and a line. And then just add so many different little shapes and patterns and lines and orbs and crystal shapes and make a whole collection of different looking snowflakes. Give you a second to finish that up. Okay, below those V shapes that we made, I'm going to make another little diamond. This is just going to be a regular diamond. 
and I'm going to ink it in. And then I'm going to put three dots. I'm going to put one and then one larger and one larger. So I'm going to put in a diamond, ink it in, little dot, larger dot, larger dot. Diamond, little, bigger, biggest. And once you get those done, I'm going to go from the bottom of the diamond I just made and I'm just going to go out and out. See that I'm going down and down on both sides. And inside these triangles, I'm going to make a line that goes up and has a little V. Up and a little V. Actually, I'm going to turn those into diamonds. They're so tiny, but just up and a little diamond. And I'm going to color them in just to match the ones we just made. So pretty, we're almost done. Okay, I'm gonna take those little circles we put on the top of those diamonds and I'm going to darken those in just so it matches the darker elements of our snowflake. And then off of each of these triangles, we had the large dot, the small dot, and I'm gonna put a little line, and I'm gonna put two Vs. Almost looks like a little old-fashioned antenna. So line, V, V. I think I'm just going to add a dot just outside of the end, although a snowflake would not have a crystal hovering. I'm just going to add that little dot to the end. There we go. I'm going to leave the center empty. And um, I'm just going to do the slightest bit of shading on this one. And then we will be done. I think it's so pretty. So to shade this one, I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to go right up those lines that we made coming out. And actually, I think I'm going to take my pencil and erase that little hexagon we put in there. Got something rattling on my desk today. Okay. Go right up that center line. 
all the way to the diamond. And then I'm just gonna soften that and let it just sort of create this little shadow. Now snowflakes are clear, they are not even white. And so the light reflects through them or shines through them. I don't know what you would say. So they're probably not actually creating shadows, but I like what this adds. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna go around the center circle. Just put some graphite right along the outside of that line. I'm going to push that up and out. Give that a little bit of dimension. And that is all I'm going to do. It's very subtle. And then over here, I'm going to put my initials. And at the bottom, I'll write the date, and then I always write one or two sentences of a journal entry about what's on my mind, what's on my heart this week, and um, just kind of a fun little way to look back at these mandalas and and know what we were what we were thinking about or what we were going through in that stage of life. So, I hope you enjoyed this snowflake mandala, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye bye.